you know, Porzingis and Drew Holiday, two great additions, Porzingis length, shot blocking, and the uh, tough matchup because as the five, he can step out, shoot the three, he can roll with force, um, he can handle the ball, so a uh, tremendous addition, and, and Drew Holiday to me is, you know, one of the best two-way players in the NBA. So hell of a team, hell of a challenge, and uh, hopefully our guys are up for it. What, uh, obviously with Holiday and Porzingis additions, you get a lot of attention with them. I, how much of an impact has sort of the strides that Derek White has taken uh, helped them, do you think, as, as another great two-way guard? Yeah, I mean, you don't have the best record in the NBA without a lot of guys playing well. And uh, we all know Jason Tatum, arguably, uh, you know, first team All NBA player, great talent. Uh, Jalen Brown, what he does. Um, but yeah, Derek White's having an All Star caliber year. You know, um, it's crazy. He's averaging one block per game, and he's a guard. You know, they lead the league in blocks per game. So, yeah, give a lot of credit to Derek. Uh, he just continues to find ways to get better and impact winning. And uh, it's been a great addition as well. Yeah, well, the good thing is, um, to your earlier point, we've seen that quite a bit, teams that do cross-match. Uh, what a luxury to have a guy like Drew Holiday can go out and guard Joel Embiid. We'll guard Nicola tonight. Um, you know, we just played a team in Philly that, from the opening tip, you know, they didn't have Joel guarding Nicola. They had other guys guarding him. So something that we have seen, and now most importantly, um, can we execute against it? You know, can we generate the right kind of shot? And if they're if we're taking the ball out of the net all night, meaning that we can't get a stop, that allows them the opportunity to, you know, put that game plan into action. So we gotta be able to get stops in this building. They're elite offensively, they're elite defensively, so that's gonna be the challenge. But we, we know that we're gonna see man to man, cross matching, zone, um, all that stuff and uh, I think our guys will be ready for it. You guys obviously have higher goals <clears throat> Well, I think what's helped us is, you know, um, you know, you get through the holidays and the time before the All-Star break. There's always a really weird time in the NBA. And uh, we lost a game in Utah about a week or so ago. And, you know, the next day I said, listen, here's our next 10 games. And before we came on the road, we had New Orleans and Indiana at home, two teams that were playing at an extremely high level. And then I said, then we go to Philly, we go to Boston, we go to Washington, Indiana, New York, and then we go home and we play Philly again, Milwaukee, and OKC to finish up January. And, and I think that kind of resonated and allows you to realize, okay, these aren't the dog days for us because if they are, we're going to go 0-10. You know, we, we have to find a way to understand what we have in front of us. So you always want to play against the best. To kind of, you know, it's a measuring stick. I don't overreact if you win or you lose. Um, you know, it's just a chance for us to see who we are and, and what we have to address. Coach, uh, you mentioned getting stops. Uh, what's, what's the one thing you'd like to see your defense do tonight? If you had, had to pick one thing, what are you looking for? Yeah, the three-point line. You know, that's probably the biggest concern for me, Chris. They are, um, you know, first in makes, first in attempts on the season. Last five games are making 17 plus threes a night, which is a very, very high number, and they have shooting everywhere. I think that's what makes them such a tough cover is that you have guys that can get their own shot, and then if you put two on the ball at any point from their one through five, all guys that can knock down um, three-point shots at a very high clip. So... Can we find a way to take away the three-point shot? And and when you're guarding a guy like Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown, you have to show them a crowd. And will we have the multiple effort fly around mentality to do that and also get out to their shooters? And, uh, you know, we gave up 15 threes in Philly, which was uh, disappointing. Some of those were game plan, discipline breakdowns, personnel breakdowns. But uh, if we have any chance tonight, you know, uh, and you want to take this crowd out of the game, we're going to have to find a way to limit your three-point shot. What's the Yeah, just uh, Christian's at his best when he's aggressive and confident. 
You know, when, when he's open, he doesn't turn down a shot, he shoots the ball. Uh, if the guy's up on him, he drives the ball aggressively to create contact, get to the foul line, or he makes a play for a teammate. And, and defensively, he's physical, he's aggressive, and we're going to need that tonight. I mean, we have to do so, you know, w without putting them on the free throw line a ton. But if you let Jason Tatum play in any kind of space, he's going to one of the toughest shot makers in the NBA. He's going to own you. So uh, I think for Christian, though, specifically, he's got to just you know, continue to be really aggressive and play with great confidence. Yeah, I think so. You know, the shoulder was a little bit banged up. You know, I think a lot of the guys after that Philly game, but good thing about having two days in between games, got a chance to rest up. And last I heard, everybody should be good to go. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.